Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we'll be seeing how to create a simple DLL file using VB.NET. And then you can use this DLL file in a separate project like a VB.NET project or a C-sharp project. For this demo, we'll be creating the library or the DLL using a VB.NET project. And then we'll be using that DLL inside a C-sharp project. So let's get started. First, let's create a new project. Select the language essential basic. And then let's create a class library, a project for creating class library that targets .NET or .NET standard. So we can select this, click next. I'll call it my utils, okay? And then I'm gonna do next. So you could choose between any of the .NET libraries that you want. I'm gonna keep in .NET 8 and create. So here, once this is created, I'm gonna rename this class to math utils. Now we can define some mathematical functions here. For the simplicity, I'll be just creating two functions for addition and subtraction. And I'm going to make this function public. Now I'll just copy this, paste it over here, and then I will make it subtract. And also one for multiplication. Okay, I'm just going to keep it to these three functions. Okay, now once I save it, I'll just click on release, or you could go for debug, any of this will be fine. And then you can click on build my utils. Okay, now the library is built. Now you can just go to the project folder. Inside bin, there will be one release folder. And over here, you can actually see the DLL file that is created. And this is for the debugging purposes. We only need this one, okay? Now what we are going to do is uh, we will just close this project and we can create a new c -sharp project which will be using this DLL. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just copy this DLL. I'll come to this folder. I have created a empty folder called DLLs. And I'll just paste this DLL here. Now let's create a c -sharp project which will be using this DLL and using those functions which we created inside that DLL. So you can see we are going to create a console app using c -sharp. So this is actually based on .NET, uh, not the .NET framework, which stopped at 4.8, my custom app. And I'm just going to keep next. And I'll keep it as this one itself. And then I'm going to just proceed. OK, this is a very simple uh, console application. and. Uh, could just remove all this. And now if you try to use the my utils, obviously it will not be accessible here. And let's say my util, it won't actually recognize it. So you can go to the project and then you can go to add project reference and then you can click on browse. And you could select my utils DLL and click Okay, now you could see my utils. See, it's automatically suggesting dot math util, and you could now create an object. Let's say I'm creating an object equals new dot math utils, and now you can just copy paste this console line which is already given, adding one and two, and then just put plus and obj dot add values one comma two and similarly you could use all the three functions that you define within your library i'm gonna keep it three and two and we can make it okay and now if we run the app so you can see the values being added one and two is added to three and three minus two is actually one 
and three multiplied by two is equal to six. You technically created a library in VB.NET and then used that library in a C Sharp project. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.